everyone. I was recently tagged by NYC Georgette to do the 10 products I would repurchase tag. And the concept of this tag is if you were to lose all of your makeup, which 10 products would you have to run out and purchase immediately? I have one semi skincare product and the rest are all makeup products. Of course there are other things, eye creams, moisturizers, hair products, things like that that I would absolutely go out and repurchase, but this is just strictly 10 makeup items that I would repurchase. And again, like I stated in a lot of my videos, to my knowledge, these are all cruelty free. If you know of something that I show that is not cruelty free, please let me know because I am always willing to listen to other people's research because I know that um, I am wrong on many occasions. So again, if you know about a certain item that I show and you know that that company or that its parent company does test on animals, please let me know. So to get started, the first product I have is the Hard Candy I'm Tired, and this claims that it depuffs, brightens, and firms. And honestly, I don't see a lot of firming and I don't see too much brightening. I see a little bit of a brightening effect. But what I love this for is on those mornings when I'm absolutely exhausted, I would say that it definitely depuffs. It's one of those roller balls <clears throat> and it has a little trio of metal balls on the top. And basically you just run this under your eyes and it's more of an eye serum than an actual eye cream. And I actually use this under my eye cream in the mornings. So. I'll pat this on underneath and it has a really cooling sensation which is why I love it for kind of just waking me up a little bit and I use this and then I use my 100% pure eye cream underneath or I use this under my 100% pure eye cream is what I should say. So that is the first product I'd absolutely repurchase. Uh, the second one is a concealer and this is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And this concealer is a little bit pricey. but. I'm telling you all that the teeniest little bit goes so far with this concealer. I use the teeniest little dot and I dot one under each eye and that does my whole entire under eye on um, both sides and then I do another little dot and I can conceal any blemishes. So love this stuff. Um, I've used quite a bit of it but I still have quite a bit left so I would definitely repurchase that. The next thing I would repurchase is my Physician's Formula Healthy Wear. This is the Powder Foundation SPF 50 in Creamy Beige. And if you all don't know, I live in Florida, so I love having something with an SPF. My moisturizer has an SPF, but I also like using additional products that have SPF. And most mornings, I'll actually just put this on as I'm running out the door um, over my concealer. I won't even use a liquid foundation. I'll just use this. And um, you can also use this for setting your liquid foundations. It can tend to get a little bit cakey if you do too many layers over a liquid foundation. But I just take a nice buffing brush and kind of buff this into my face in the mornings over my concealer. And I absolutely love this product. This is the second one that I'm on. So absolutely love this. Uh, the fourth product I would repurchase is my Sonia Kashuk Flamingo Beautifying Blush. Now I um, have recently purchased this one and this is the only one of the Sonia Kashuk blushes that I own. But first of all, I absolutely love how sleek her packaging is. I've always been um, kind of a white and silver girl so I really like this packaging. It's either, I can't tell if it's magnetic or if it's spring loaded but it kind of automatically closes and this is just an absolutely beautiful kind of um, like like they say, it's a flamingo pink blush. It's kind of that uh, baby doll pink. It's just a really gorgeous pink color. It looks pretty. I could see this looking pretty on a lot of different skin tones. So there's a swatch of that blush. Um, the next thing I would repurchase is another blush because as much as I love this blush, I definitely want to have um, two options for blush. And my other longtime favorite blush is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. This is a really pretty blush just for when you kind of want something a little bit more on the neutral side. The pink is really gorgeous, but some days I just don't want to have that pop of pink on my cheeks. I want something a little more natural, and that is where this Amazonian clay this Amazonian clay blush comes into play. It's just kind of a nice, more neutral color, um, a little bit more natural. It's and again, I did a really heavy swatch of that, so it doesn't look quite as natural as it would once you put it on your cheeks and blend it out. But that is the fifth product I would repurchase. Uh, the sixth product I would repurchase is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti Crease Eyeshadow Primer. This is my favorite eye primer that I've tried to date. Now, there's a couple of other cruelty free eye primers that I really would like to try, uh, but so far this is one of my favorites. This is my third tube of this, I think and I'm really loving this. It really just helps your shadow to stay put all day. It helps it to not crease throughout the day. It makes shadows more vibrant and I just, I use this every time. Even if I'm only doing um, a single wash of color on my lid, I always use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. 
And my seventh product that I would repurchase is my Walking on Eggshells Trio from Wet n Wild. And excuse the mess, it's definitely a little bit on the dirty side here. But this is the trio, and as you can see, it's very well loved. This is my second Walking on Eggshells Trio that I have used and it's just I mean it's just a really gorgeous easy neutral palette there's kind of a light pinkish um, all over the lid shade there's a darker brown crease shade and then there's this white shimmery shade I actually don't use this under the brow bone I use my wet and wild brulee under my brow bone oh crud you know what oh I probably should have mentioned brulee is one of my items okay so maybe Brulee's in here too, and maybe this is the 11 products that I would repurchase because my Wet and Wild single shadow, my Wet and Wild single shadow in Brulee is definitely one that I would have to repurchase. So don't kill me, but I think this is the 11 products I would repurchase. Tag, uh, because anyway, but back to what I was saying in this trio, I really, really love this uh, white shimmery color up here, but I don't like to do a shimmery color under the brow if I have a shimmery lid color and. Um, and I don't want to say shimmery. I don't want you to think that there's uh, that I'm a complete glitter ball. I guess I should say these have a little bit of a sheen to them. And I don't like to do a lid color with a sheen and a crease color with a sheen and an under the brow color with a sheen. I kind of like to mix it up with some mattes. And the Wet n Wild Brulee is a matte. So this white up here I use just a little bit on the inner corner um, just to kind of brighten that up. So I would absolutely repurchase this palette in a heartbeat or this trio plus the Wet n Wild um, Brulee single shadow. As for my eyeliner, hands down my all-time favorite liner, Reese. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I <laughs> I have been using, let me tell you what it is first and I'll tell you what I just discovered. I've been using these Physicians Formula um, Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trios for pretty much ever since they came out in pencil form. And I just freaking discovered that there is a sharpener in the base of these uh, liners. I had no clue. Now this is one of those twist up pencils so you don't actually have to sharpen it but this helps you to get a more precise point. I feel like a complete idiot that I did not realize that this was there until I accidentally pulled it out. So this handy dandy little sharpener is in the base of the eyeliner pencil and then you have this liner right here. I love it. I have it in uh, the brown eyes, I have it in the blue eyes, I have it in the uh, I think it's like the metallic neutrals, and I just absolutely love these liners. I think they're pigmented on my per on my skin. I've heard some people say that they didn't think these were all that pigmented, but to me, I mean, that's a pretty pigmented black liner to to me. Um, maybe some people have higher stand higher standards than I do, but I think that's pretty pigmented. The only one that I have found a little trouble with is the purple one in this particular trio. But all the other ones I've tried. I tried the green, the blue, the purple, the black, the brown the taupe. Um, I've tried all of those. I think it's a, it's like a taupey metallic color. I've tried all of those and I the only one that I've had trouble with the pigmentation on is the purple one. So love that. Um, the ninth product I would repurchase is my Jordana Fabi Brow Eyebrow Pencil. This is just a typical eyebrow pencil right here and it has this little brush right here to help you groom your brows. For me, and of course I say this and my brows are not done right now, but normally on a regular basis I don't like to leave the house without my brows being done. But um, love this. This is a nice one. I wouldn't say that this is the longest lasting brow pencil, but I really, um, I like the color. I like the way that it works on my brows, so I would definitely repurchase that. And the tenth product I would repurchase is my lip product, and this is my Milani HD Advanced Lip Color in Classy Nude. And this is just a simple, really easy, kind of like a mix between a balm and a lipstick, and um, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but this is the Classy Nude color right here. It's a really perfect kind of everyday throw on your lips, don't necessarily need a mirror to apply this lip color. It moisturizes your lips, it gives them a little bit of color, kind of helps to wake your face up and I absolutely love that one. So sorry this video was a little rushed, I'm actually running out the door right now to go to work, believe it or not. I filmed this video really early and I just wanted to let you know if I don't have a lot of videos posted in the next couple weeks, or um, not next, huh, not the next couple of weeks, but the next couple of days, it's because my birthday is actually this Sunday, September 30th, so I have some birthday festivities planned for this weekend, and I am turning 25, so I'm so excited for my birthday. So I just, I have a lot of videos lined up to film, but if they're not uploaded for another couple of days, um, that's the reason why. Alrighty, until next time, stay beautiful. Bye.